Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're back with another Zodiac video. Welcome back to the 7 Days of Zodiac. It is day 2 of 7 Days. Use the hashtag on social media. And um, yeah, we're having fun in the sun. It's great. So today's video is going to be about um, the basically, like, not dark side, but the inner thoughts of each sign that nobody talks about. You know, they put up a facade that covers up this part of themselves that nobody really knows about unless they kind of are really into astrology or know some of every sign. I don't really know. But yeah, that, that's basically it for today. We're going to be talking about that, which I think is really interesting. By the way, if anyone's interested in this piece here, which is a Zodiac crew neck, it's like a Supreme Style one. We have this on ZodiacHaven.com. Also, we have these necklaces here, which are super cute. Um, by the way, I got like a stain from my pasta on my sweater and it won't wash out, so ignore that. Um, but the ones you buy don't come with that, so you get a brand new one. Uh, use the coupon code 7 Dawes if you want to get some money off. That coupon is active for the entire seven dollars week so seven days um as of today probably six days uh you'll be able to use the coupon so go save some money and buy some shit on zodiachaven.com let's get into the video so we're gonna start with capricorn because uh i don't know they just popped into my mind so capricorn it is so capricorns have this side to them that people don't really see which is this really soft loving emotional side <laughs> Um, so basically, everybody tends to think that the Capricorn is just some weird robot. <laughs> yeah, they totally are. But they're also super, super loving and, like, just sweet, which is so unexpected. They really care about you and your well-being if you're very important to them. You have to be really important to them, otherwise they're going to be so selfish towards you. Um, they really, really do care about you as a person, and they get super, super attached to people, and nobody really expects it. They fall hard not fast it takes a while for them to fall and it takes the right person so they're smart about it but when they do fall they get really they get in really deep that's for sure they get in really deep and sometimes it's hard to like avoid it if it's someone that's very close to them so they can get really like sappy and cringy and <laughs> like really cringy like you wouldn't expect it unless you're with them like if you're friends with a capricorn you probably look at them and think wow i can never picture you crying wow i can never picture you saying i love you to someone i can never picture you doing this but if you are their significant other, then you will see this whole side of them and it will feel so much more special just because you know that you're the only one that sees it. So it's really cool. Um, I've never dated a Capricorn, but I've witnessed it and I've seen the change in a person after they start dating someone. It's really cool to see. So yeah, just know that they do have a soft side to them. Um, on to the next side, Aquarius. It's actually very similar to the Capricorn. They have this like very caring side. Like an Aquarius is loyal to the end. Like loyal 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 and i'm not just saying that because hello aquarius i swear I'm, I'm actually dead honest about this like we are very loyal people and we have this like really different side to us in which we just care so much we won't say i love you right all the time we won't always go for a kiss or a hug we won't show affection in the ways that some people desire but we'll show it in other ways you know those like memes where it's like ways to say i love you without saying i love you and it's like things like did you eat? Get home safe. Text me when you're home. Like all those little sayings. That's like an Aquarius for you. Like they're the ones that'll kind of probably say everything on that list, but then won't say I love you. But those things mean so much more sometimes than just saying I love you because you can really see how much they care. Not only that, they're really, really um, possessive. They act like they're not jealous. And it's like a thing that said that like Aquariuses are not jealous. And it, it's true. But when it comes to someone that they really love, like, they can be really jealous. <laughs> like, they can. They can be super possessive and super jealous. And I don't care who tries to tell you that's not true. I truly believe that it is. Pisces, um, I've talked about that side of them that not everybody sees. It's that super twisted, messed up, dark side that's, like, really weird. Like, that, like, part that you kind of, like, you don't even know until you get into a really bad fight with them. And it's kind of scary. <laughs> it's kind of scary. They get vicious. Like, they just get so angry it's weird I don't know how to explain it like they just get they just get really weird like it's kind of disappointing when you see that side of them because you don't realize that they even have that and Pisces can turn really evil like it's not even like evil in a funny way like that's like cute it's like really evil like kind of like the cancer but not as like manipulative and mean they're like more evil I don't know how to describe it but Pisces have that crazy side to them and they're like very emotionally destructive like they're just really they're kind of crazy like for example Janae goes to Pisces and I think that bitch is crazy I love her I love Janae I literally have her book Two Fish sitting right in front of me and I love it so much but she seems crazy like I wouldn't date Janae if I was a guy I wouldn't like, do you guys know who Brittany Renner is this like Instagram model like she seems crazy she's a Pisces a lot of Pisces are crazy <laughs> Aries, um, Aries have this, like, thing where they seem like they're so tough and so hard and so, like, you know, like, 
rough around the edges, but they're so, like, they care too much. They care way too much, and it's, like, a lot. They can be a little bit overbearing at times because they get so jealous, and they get so, like, they just get so jealous, and they they don't hide that part of themselves. They show it, but they care so much to the point where you feel smothered sometimes, but you don't realize why because they always seem like they don't care. It's so hard to describe what I mean, but they they really, really, really care more than you think, and it's like you don't realize it, but you're like their whole world. You're their everything, and they don't really let you see it, but it's it, it's true. They, if you're dating an Aries and, you know, things are good for the most part, I can probably say that you're literally their everything, and they just won't really let you know of that fact. Um, they're just very, they're more emotional than you think. They're really, like, I know I said in another video, like, they are not emotional in the sense that, like, they use their they're, they're more towards the logical side than the emotional side, if you saw my last video. Um, I still stand by that statement. I'm just saying that they are more emotional than you think, and they get more attached than you think, and they're more, like, involved than you think, because they really, really hide that part of themselves. Taurus, um, what they won't let you know is that they are emotionally manipulative. Um, they're totally emotionally manipulative. They like to do things for you, not just to make you happy, but to, um it's not even like they want you to do it in return they get a slight satisfaction out of doing things for you knowing you're not going to do them in return and then getting mad at you for not doing it and making you feel guilty even though they knew you were never going to do it and they don't want you to do it and they wanted to do what they did for you but they know that they have that thing over you in which they can throw it in your face that you did not do something for them or you did not reciprocate what they did for you to them and they like that feeling of power that they have when they can say like then they, when they can guilt trip you it's like a weird thing i just i can feel it like i can tell like this is how all tours i know are like it's like they do things because they know they're supposed to do them not because they want to not because of the kindness of their heart not because you know they just do them because they know you're not ah oh, just it's so it's so hard to describe i hate saying it's so hard to describe because that's like my job on here but like I feel you guys understand what I mean, and it's like this thing that goes on in their head that they'll never talk about. Not one Taurus has ever told, said this to me out loud, so I could be sp sp I could be talking shit right now. I could be totally wrong. I've never read this in a book. I've never heard it from Taurus. I've just analyzed a bunch of Taurus, and I just see the way they move, and I truly believe that this is how they are as individuals. They are man emotionally manipulative. I actually watched a video of Trisha Paytas and da Jason Nash. They were at like the Beverly Hills Hotel and Trisha seemed super drunk and she was being, I love Trisha Paytas by the way, I love her, do not get me wrong, she is my everything. Um, she was doing this to Jason and the entire video, not just in that way, she was just emotionally manipulative, like with him the entire time and I love Trish and I'm so happy that she's in a relationship that's good, but I was like, damn, I feel bad for Jason because she treats him like shit. So it's like that's just a thing with Taurus. They tend to be emotionally manipulative in the relationships that they, they get themselves into romantic romantically. Actually, no, no, friendship as well. Friendship as well. Sorry, both, both. <laughs> Geminis, um, they like to act like they don't like attention. Some of them, some of them they don't. They're attention seekers seekers, okay? Okay, Geminis can be attention seekers. Attention seekers. But the ones that are like those loner, low-key, quiet, chill, stoner type Geminis, they are, yes, they are that way. Those are the ones that I like. But um, they get really, um, they like really like attention. <laughs> like it doesn't matter what, <laughs> what kind of attention, they love attention and they'll never really admit how much they love attention. Even, and they, they always put up this front where they're just like, they don't care what anybody thinks. And it's so sick because they really live by it, but the thing is they like, I have to be so careful what I say in my videos because I feel like I contradict myself like from my previous videos but the thing is like Gemini's don't care what people think yes like it's true like I really like Gemini's because like I always say they're unapologetically themselves but they sometimes like they like to be that person that doesn't care what people think they really like that's that's what they love they love people telling them I love that you don't care what people think they get like a high out of that and they'll never really admit it but that's like why they are the way they are because they like being different they they like being like no one else and they 
they just really like knowing that people can't pinpoint them and compare them to someone else which is cool and I like that about them but they're also really like they do care because this kind of comes down to them loving when people acknowledge that they're different like they want to be different for the sole reason of people acknowledging that they're different they don't just like live differently and not give a shit that they're different and like you know it's not about that they like to go out of their way to be different like you know those people that like want to be hipster but they're like I'm not a hipster I'm different it's like Mm, you're just a hipster. <laughs> That's a Gemini. Cancers, um, they are emotionally manipulative as well in different ways. They like to use what you say against them in later arguments and stuff like that. They get super, super emotional. They like to guilt trip you and then they like to make you feel bad about certain things and their inner thoughts basically like make cause them to close down and not really talk about what they're feeling and then get mad at other people internally for a long time before saying anything and they know it's their fault that they're doing this when they could have just talked about it before but they will never admit that it's like their fault that they have so much anger and resentment built up inside of them they'll just kind of like always feel like it was never the right time to bring it up and blah 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 blah, blah. when they just have a problem with letting people walk all over them they know that people walk all over them that side of them that no one really sees is that insecure side because they seem so confident and charming and amazing like I always meet Capricorns and I'm like wow you're great you're so confident you're so cool you know like but they're really not they're super insecure and they're low-key really 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 messed up in the head and you wouldn't really see it until you get on their bad side or you get really close to them and it's to the point where like you're like living together or something like that and you're just like with them all the time you know how did I get so close to the camera? I swear I was sitting back here and now I'm like over here. Um, yeah, so that's Capricorn. Leos, um, the side of them that you won't really see is basically that very petty side. Um, they'll never admit to it. It's like kind of like a low-key petty, they never want to see anybody else do as well as them kind of thing. Like they're very encouraging when it comes to their friends sometimes. They're, they're good at that at times. But deep down, they don't really like to see other people win. Um, they like to be the best person in the room. They like to be the prettiest in the room. They like to be the smartest in the room. They like to be, you know, they just like to be better than people. They have this thing about, like, being better than people. Like, they're the kind of person that, they're the kind of sign that their friends will be slightly dumber than them. They'll be, like, underachievers just so that no matter what, they're the, the best person out of the group. So they'll never really tell you that. It's just something that I've picked up over analyzing lots and lots and lots of different Leos and it's just a thing like they just it's like yeah it, it's a known thing that Leos like to be better than people but what I'm trying to tell you guys is that like it's not so much just uh like oh I go to the party I want to be the center of attention it's not really that it's also, it's like they truly don't want people doing better than them they feel threatened when people do better than them it can drive them to work harder but that will cause them to work harder than just wanting to work harder for themselves you know what I mean like they would rather work harder to do better than someone else than to do better than what they're doing right now for themselves like they just have that that desire to just be better than people it's really strange um Virgos Virgos are low-key they can be really lazy um they can be all talk that's the thing with Virgos sometimes they can be super driven but a lot of the times they just talk about they're really good at convincing you into thinking that they're like hard working and you know on their shit and like on top of everything killing it but like they're not doing anything a lot of virgos are all talk and they just talk 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 talk, 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 talk and they don't act they don't make any actions and it's like you just really really think that there's some like motivated driven like crazy person and you're like wait a minute like you kind of look a year later and you're like, yo, yo, you're doing the same thing you were doing this time last year. You know what I mean? And they know it and it disappoints them and they, they really don't like that part of themselves. But it's like, they, I think they talk so much to the point in which they convince themselves that they're doing, you know, a lot. And I think they convince themselves and then they sit down at night before they go to bed and they realize like, like I'm not doing anything like and then they they hate themselves for it and then they feel like a whole new person the next day and They're ready to take over the world, but then they don't 
You know what I mean? So it's like a never-ending cycle. So it's just a process of them talking and thinking that they're really gonna do it and they're really on it and then just not doing anything, getting disappointed in themselves and then talking and do, you know? Like it's just like a cycle that doesn't end. So the next sign is Libra. Libra is deep down very, um, <sighs> kind of a pessimist, you know? Um, Libras like to talk like they're super positive and they like to act like they are just, you know, encouraging and amazing and just like, you know, just this, this God-given thing to the earth, but they are actually very negative. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever realized this upon, um, meeting Libras, but I find them to be very negative and they will... They, they, they're kind of like the Leo in which they kind of feel threatened by other people, but um, not in like a hating type of way. They don't hate on other people, like they don't really get jealous jealous, but they do kind of um, take it as a threat sometimes when they see other people doing better than them. And they can be very pessimistic and very just just negative. Like someone can say something to them and they'll kind of look at the, the dark side of it or the, the negative side of it and it's like, why? but they like to act like they're being so positive like it's so weird it's so hard to describe like they're just really negative people and you don't realize it because they seem so friendly and positive and nice and outgoing and bubbly they're great people libra is probably my favorite sign now libra and sag but to be honest they're just negative and it's it's shitty you know like it's shitty because they're such great people but man they really they like to knock people down sometimes and they don't realize they're doing it they don't do it to knock the person down they do it because that's what they would tell themselves because they just feel like nothing's ever like enough they're just really they don't like to look at the positive side of things i don't know scorpios um they are low-key very very deep lovers i don't know if you guys that might not even be low-key actually they're kind of smothering um but they have a very soft side to them. Like, they do. They have a very, very, very soft side to them. They like to act like they're like the princess or the prince of the relationship and they get treated like royalty. But at the end of the day, they do anything for the person that they love and they get really, 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 really emotional attached, emotionally attached. And you'll think that they are just not in it and that they don't give a shit, but they actually really do. They get so invested to the point where they like take a bullet for you. Like they get, they, they fall hard and they fall hard pretty fast. They care so much and it gets really intense. Like they just let it take over their entire lives and they don't admit it to themselves. Like they will not admit it to themselves. They like to think that there's some heartless bitch and it's like, you're not. Like you are literally a little teddy bear when it comes to falling in love, it's funny. <laughs> Um, the next sign, the last sign, is the Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarius is one of those people who seem so amazing and kind and sweet, they couldn't hurt a fly, but they are literally, like, low-key psycho. Um, and they are just low-key psycho. I feel like all Sag are, I don't know, they just kind of have issues. Like, they can say some really mean things about people. They have some really mean thoughts. Like, they're the kind of person that will see someone uglier. I don't know, like, slightly heavier and, like, think mean things about them for no reason. And I, again, this is very generalized, so if you are offended by me saying this, like, if you don't do it, you don't do it. You know, you don't have to comment down below, I don't do that, you're so wrong about me. I don't know you. I'm not talking about you. So, like, yeah, I could be totally wrong about you. But I'm just saying, like, a lot of Sag have low-key mean thoughts. Like, they're, like, bullies in their own mind. And it's not just to other people, though. It's also to themselves. Like, they can get really hard on themselves, and they're going to be hard on other people as well. And you're going to think that they're just, like, a hater, but I think it's just because some of them are actually really insecure. Not as bad as the Cancer, but they do have some really bad, mean thoughts. And it's just unfortunate. Um, and I'm really sorry that Sagittarius is so short, but the camera is overheating, and I really need to let it cool down because I have so many videos to film. So I have to actually end the video here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is like my old zodiac style video so it's kind of cool to like bring it back so i hope you guys really really enjoyed this one i had a fun time filming it i literally did not write any of that down i just turned on the camera i started talking and it started coming naturally to me again which i haven't felt in a long time with zodiac videos so yeah it's cool to be back um once again if you like this sweater even though it has spaghetti on it or this necklace or oh the phone case the phone case um 
We got so much stuff on ZodiacHaven.com. It's not even funny and it's so cheap. It is so cheap. We got some star protectors. We got, oh, we got tapestries. We got tapestries, like the one behind me. Not the exact same one because I got this in Toronto, but we got some similar tapestries. Go check it out. Go check it out. <laughs> All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to use hashtag 7 dots on social media to join the conversation and get my attention. I'll probably repost you or some shit. I don't really know, but I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching. Bye. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah. I know the secret we share. Look what this feeling has done to me.